Welcome to Live at the Blue Box. It's now time for This Week in Geek, a special Friday edition. It is what? Friday, April 8th, 2016. Ooh, there you go. I am one of your hosts. I'm Rob Southgate. You can follow me at R Southgate, and you can follow the show at SMG underscore TWIG. With me is Edward Lee. You can, follow, host, uh, you can, you can follow, follow me, me on at no my way home. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> please don't. I'm not on the please internet don't. at all, except for this. <laughs> you can follow me by a Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and you on the end. Chuck- my name is Chris Mao, co-owner of Blue Box Cafe. You can follow me on Twitter, Blue Box Cafe 176. We also have a website, theblueboxcafe.com. We're also on Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff, and similar accounts. All right, man. Yeah, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Clamor. We just got a Tumblr for This Week in Geek. We have our nice. Tumblr now. Yeah. What do you know? So, Edward, I'll tumble for you. Um, and just so you know, we didn't eat. So, Chris and I will be eating throughout this podcast. We're eating. Uh, I'm eating a spectacular gluten-free Reuben. Uh, are you eating anything special, Chris? Uh, jalapeno chips. That's it. Jalapeno chips. I need a snack. I need more than a snack. And Edward is not eating. All right. They don't allow me to eat, so. Since we're on a Friday, it, it seems like some of the geek news, it was kind of a light week. A little bit, yeah. But the few things that did drop, excellent. So who wants to start? Who's got one? Don't do that one first. You're yeah, don't talking. do that because we can't that do it. Go take some talking. Um, let's start with the trailer for Swiss Army Man. That's good. All right. Did you like it? I didn't know what to think of it. <laughs> okay. I, I, it's, it's, oh, you guys are going to lose me on this the one. The movie made back. no sense to me. Did you see it, Chris? I did. You know, I, I, yeah, where is the little puppet, by the way? The, where, he, where he belongs. What are you doing? We're doing a show. What's wrong? What happened? I don't know. We, we need to continue. So what did you think of the trailer? I, I don't understand it, but it looks like it could be okay. I, there's a lot of movies I don't know from the trailer, and I, I don't know. I didn't know what the purpose of this trailer movie was supposed to be. It's Weekend at Bernie's with... Um, at Hogwarts, I think. So, I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. It, it's a trailer about what's his name? Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe is brain dead, and he's going around. I believe Switzerland. I guess. Yes, I believe that's where it's at. And he's going through the forest, trying to survive. I don't know why he's ca- carrying Daniel Radcliffe around. It doesn't make a lot it, of sense. It's. It doesn't. It's weird. It's very weird. I don't know what it is, but it looks... Swiss Army Man? Yeah, it looks like yeah. the, it's Weekend at Bernie's with Hogwarts is what it is. So. You know what? I actually uh, I actually thought it looked really great. It, it's won some film right. festival awards. Uh, this is another one that looks kind of uh, indie filmish. Sure. Hey. But I got to say, man... AB guys, <laughs> what, you just kick him out of the car? Like, hey, Jacob, get out. Watching that, watching that trailer... My first thought was what you said, like Weekend at Bernie's. Okay, right. dead guy washes up. But as it went on, when you're seeing the crazy things he's doing with this, when, when it starts talking and stuff, I'm like... When it... The dead body. Eh, it's not dead. It is dead. Something's going on. Yes. I, I really started to enjoy it. I started, even in the trailer, it made me really want to see the film. Well, the, the cast is fantastic. So, I mean... A little you know, blocking Chris. It's all right. Is it blocking me? Yes. A little can eclipse the sun, so that's okay. <laughs> oh! Hey, a little shot. So can I, a little. It's okay. We're working on that. I mean, you look at, I mean, Mary. That, that's because uh, he's not a lil. He's a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <When> you <laughs> miss hey. a lil, miss a lot. It took us almost a year to get to that joke. <laughs> <laughs> long, long time. Yeah, but, you know, Paul Dano. Uh, yes. He's fantastic. 
I think I think Daniel Radcliffe is a very underrated, really underrated actor. I think I people think Daniel get, Radcliffe's really good, right? And I, I think it's going to take it's taking him a while to shake the Harry Potter thing. Cause sure, you see him, and even then, I'm watching him dead, and I'm like, oh look, Harry Potter's it, dead, right? You can't help it. But I I think he's putting together a nice body of work. I think this looks really good. He's one of the few child actors that I don't look at him and think he's a child actor now. Right. So. Oh, yeah, because I, I still get that with um, all the hobbits. So, I mean, you know, Eli- <laughs> well, Elijah Wood, I think he's a child actor. I mean. But he wasn't even a child when he did that. But he was a child when he did um, all his, a lot of his other yeah, stuff. Yeah, the I early mean, stuff. The yeah. early stuff, and he was really good as that. So it, it's, it's kind of hard. And yeah. You know what that is, right? You've seen what? Lord of the Rings? Nope. Are you kidding me? I know. You're going to get kicked off this show. I am. Your, your, I am. your geek card's Molly coming Molly is going to get up here. She's seen more than you have. Holy cow. Well, then, then, All we, right. then we definitely won't have any mic space because... <laughs> Did you guys see the trailer for Bloodfather? Yes. For what? Bloodfather. Blood with Mel Gibson. It's a Mel Gibson movie. I swear when you watch this, my first reaction was, and why wasn't he in Mad Max? Because he's just Mad Max in yes, it. Yes, it's like Mad Max meets uh, um, in Kill Bill. Remember when uh, what's his name is out in the desert in his trailer? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Michael Madsen. Michael <laughs> Madsen. It's like Mel Gibson playing that character mixed with Mad Max. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. You know, it's it's the typical thing. His daughter, somebody's missing, and his guys... his daughter, his daughter, she was apparently like kidnapped at a young age. He found her, and now there's people coming for her. Right. So it's like the opposite of Taken. Right. He gets his daughter back. It's, it's retrieved. Is that the name yes, of the movie? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't have a particular set of skills. <laughs> no. Um, I'm actually, just, he does. I'm just He's angry. People in the face. Is what I'm it just. Looks I'm like. just angry. It looks like he cannot aim, though. It looks like the same two guys are only fighting against, and they don't die. So, in other words, this is a sequel to Star Wars because that's a stormtrooper. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Hey. I thought Bloodfather looked really good, and it's the kind of thing that it's the right role at the right time, where we might. We might be able to watch a Mel Gibson movie again and not think of all the crazy Mel Gibson stuff. Well, he's playing crazy, so it's like, oh, it's just Mel being Mel. So It was, it was Mel being the Mel that we kind of haven't seen in a while. Right. Like, I liked uh, it. Is this Lethal Weapon Mel? But with, but with a lot more anger? Yeah, he's a little off-kilter. Because Lethal Weapon Mel was pretty good. It's so. Lethal Weapon Mel mixed with Mad Max. That's what it is. I, I thought it looked cool. I'm trying to make a beard reference too because it looks kind of I don't know. Like he's got a big beard. Well, he's got a big. He's got the beard. He's well. Just, he's a hipster. It's hipster Mel. <laughs> he's gonna hipster Christmas, angry he's gonna old put ornaments Mel. in it. Sounds good. All right, what do you got? Just, uh, you got anything, so, Chris? Yeah, it's gonna be this week in Edward Lee. Yeah, I have one. So they have uh, who is it? Drunk men. I believe it's Drunkman uh, talks about the movies Last of Us and Uncharted, how they were coming along, because it was released a while ago saying there were going to be movies about them. I don't know what the Drunkman thing was. What was that? Drunkman. That was someone's name. Okay. Okay. All right. Drunkman. Uh, oh, wait. You mean Drunkman. the guy? I know who you mean. Yes. It's, 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 it's the guy who's head of Naughty Dog. Correct. And... He came out this week and talked about how The Last of Us and, and Uncharted. Uncharted, they've been talking about these for a while. Last of Us, there were big rumors about a movie, and Uncharted right. got to the point that it was in development. Yeah, um, it was okay. And and the one who was who was actually in the process was David O. Russell was actually okay, wow. making it, and then he pulled out maybe a year ago, and they were still talking about how it was in development with somebody else, and then it went silent. So is Guillermo del Toro so, doing it? it look, <laughs> so it looks like Last of Us, um, they finished the script. From what he said is they finished the script and they just need to make a few edits on it. But it's in the space between they haven't started to do anything with the movie. All they have is a script. Yeah, it's it's still in pre-production. It's not even, mm-hmm. it's not on the slate anywhere. Although he, Uncharted is supposed to come out next summer. It's... There's no way. Not, they no. haven't even started filming. They, they don't they, have a script locked down. What, what he said is Unless they still DC, haven't had a script. going to push it through. Correct. Which they're not. I don't think they are. No. I hope they're not. Or it's going to be a really bad movie. Yeah, I hope so too. It's going to be Mortal Kombat as 
the Mortal Kombat movie. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, that was, I, I don't know who, who you were saying, Truckman. but I know that's... <laughs> Druckmann. <laughs> it's, it's, it's drunk man without the N. I thought you were just talking about some drunk guy. Like, there's a, there's a YouTube show, Drunk Man, and he was talking about... That's what I thought you were doing. No. Me too. I, I have no idea, but... All right. Uh, Chris, do you have one, or do you want me to go ahead? Go right ahead. I really don't have much this week. Well, so. last week we talked about Blade Runner 2, and uh, Orion was on the show. He didn't know Blade Runner 2 was even happening, and we talked about some casting news. There was more casting news. In fact, the night of This Week in Geek, I got home and there was a tweet of Dave Batista with the unicorn. Remember the little origami unicorn uh-huh. from Blade Runner? Hinting that he's in it. Nice. Well, now as the week has gone on, it's come out that he has been cast in Blade Runner 2. He's got to be a replicant, right? Oh, absolutely. And the thought of him as a replicant, I am down with. I am it does. Down oh, with he'll this. be fantastic at oh, it too. Oh, he'll be great in this because he's he's just freaky looking. So yeah. it'll be it'll be well, great. And, and he proved in Guardians he did a really good job in that. No, he can, he's all right. He did yeah, fine. I think he'd be great as a replicant. So I'm down. He did he did he did well. So don't make him a, the lead guy. Oh, you no. can make him the Rutger Hauer guy. Right. Well, he's a great. He could be he could be the lead bad guy. If not the main, he could be the lead foil, or he could be... Or he can just be a replicant. They don't all have to be bad. Right. You know, maybe maybe that's what they're going to do in this one is it's not the replicants who are bad. That could be an interesting twist. So you're dealing with replicants the whole time. You're thinking that it's them. Right. And it, it turns out that it's, you know, Decker's partner is the one sure. pulling some shenanigans. You never know. You, Edward, you never saw... You never saw... Oh, Man, God, did you guys watch Walking Dead this week? Oh, yeah. No? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring that up. So. so this week. Anybody Walking Dead fans out here? Anyone? We're not going to spoil. Eh. No, we won't spoil it. D- but you know what? Cliffhanger ending. So no spoiling. No. But we got Negan. Oh. And, and Negan, did we get ne- Negan? Jeffrey Dean Morgan plays Negan. He is perfect. Oh, yes. He doesn't necessarily look like Negan. He did when I first thought of him, but the guy's like lost some weight. He's a little thinner than the guy in the book. Like when right. he first appeared, I was like, it's a little smaller than Negan. Oh, but he is Negan. He is awful. He's all the crazy and twice the charm. He's <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. And it doesn't spoil anything. I mean, everyone's been talking all season about how someone's going to die and it's the Negan scene. I, I don't think this is spoiling. Then on a cliffhanger, it's been all over everything. We really don't know who. We have lots of theories, but it's worth the ride. That right. scene with him and them all there is worth every minute of the season. I, oh. I loved it. And even, you know, I know some people didn't care for the lead up. You know, they made it a 90 minute episode and really only added like five minutes, but added 20 minutes of commercials. To yeah, really, I mean, right. which which wasn't very good, and it kind of broke it up too much, I thought. But then when they gave you the last ten minutes, all in one shot, one shot, it was it was it was, it was crazy. So, uh, how yeah. great was it though? How, I mean, you can really go back and analyze this episode. Oh sure, they they kept getting routed by the bad guys, and every time they would get stopped, the group was bigger. Right, and to me, it just added so much paranoia, like. By the time things happened, I, I was done. I'm like, this needs to end. Somebody needs to step out of this thing and get killed, and we need to end this tension. It was really, really well, good. Nathan, cover your ears, please. Earmuffs, so, Nathan. So Earmuffs. The, so we're not going to spoil anything. Did you see? So, so the whole time, well, I'm going to a little bit. So the whole time when you talk about every time they get rerouted and the group gets bigger and bigger, you st- look at Rick. Yeah. He unravels like just in front of your eyes because he goes from being, I'm, I'm Rick. That's not spoiling. That's telling people something they can watch for. It, it's, it is amazing Keep that his your character. Eye on I'm, Rick. Right. Because it, it describes the whole thing. It's just like it. And, you know, in the beginning, I can understand there's like a little frustration. Then all of a sudden, it's like he's just. The other character, keep your eye on, on Abraham. Yes. Because the way he reacts each time is really fantastic. I mean, the acting in this episode was 
excellent. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it, so, yeah. We they ended did, on they just continue we to got, make. We got months. Two weeks from now, we got Fear of the Walking Dead. I liked Fear. I'm I don't even think it's two dead. weeks. It's next week, isn't it? Is it? I think What's, Fear's next week. I think it's it? ne- not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Because in two weeks is Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game or of three Thrones. Weeks. Yes. Three weeks is Game of Thrones. Is it? Two. No, two. Okay. Yeah, I know. You're excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Uh, I'm still on episode six of season one. Edward is still waiting for his 18th birthday to be able to watch it. Yep. So, all right. Moving I, on. Well, so, so I, we're speaking of Game of Thrones. So somebody, I'm sorry about this. We, we did. I thought this was very interesting. The only thing I've got. Um, they did a analysis through the book where they took, took the book and took the words of the book and then found out who the most influential character was of the entire series. Oh, I didn't see this. Okay, so what they did is they ran. Uh, where did you see this? It was. It, it might have been through the Nerdist. I can't the remember. Internet. It was, it, no, it was through Uprocks. Uprocks. Okay. So Uprocks came came through with it. A guy does did an analysis of all of the words of the internet and looked for any reference where two characters were made within fifteen words of each other in the entire fifty bazillion pages of right, right. of the the six books. Right. And they found that Tyrion Lannister is the most influential character. In the entire in entire Westeros, followed closely by Jon Snow, and then followed by Daenerys was the one after that. I I would say without even doing the analysis, sure. that would be my guess. But but you know, and that's only from reading tertiary things. Sure, only seeing a few episodes. Well, he's the most popular character, but that yeah. would be like saying Daryl is the most influential Walking yeah, but Dead. If you watch he's him, not. He is incredibly influential, even in the oh, first sure. six episodes. Well, well, he's involved. Basically, with everybody, which is yes. which is amazing, but he just gets mentioned with more people than anybody else, and it was you know because you would think like it would be a Stark or it's a Lannister, but not the main. It's like right, the fourth Lannister, so Tyrion. It's Tyrion, and yeah, yeah. It's amazing, and he deserves every. Peter Dinklage deserves everything. Oh Plus, he was God, on Saturday amazing. Night Live, which was an awful Saturday Night Live, but he's yeah. They had a couple of decent skits. So, all right, Edward, you look like you got. Oh, no, Edward, sorry. So the. Red Band trailer for Green Room. Did you see Green this? Room? Green Room? Green Room. No. Have you seen it, Chris? I have not seen it, but I it heard is, about it. I don't even know what this is. It is... Sir, have we know. talked about Green Room we before? We did. We've talked about it. It was, it was a very short trailer that I can't believe what you thought on it. But it's a... The trailer is about a group of kids in a band are led to a room and then all locked in their room. Oh, I remember this one. And they locked it from inside. Yeah. And they said, I'm going to have to come out sometime and we will kill you when you come out. Yes. This trailer, it, the first half of it was them in a room figuring out what to do and the second half was, it was, it was a dark movie that looked like you didn't know what was going to happen. Hold on. So Patrick no Stewart's in it. Yeah. That's five stars. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I saw a, tra- or a picture of him I didn't realize that was this movie. I mean, I saw it said Green Room. Now that you're saying that, like I'm having that visual memory, but I didn't realize it was that movie. This, this, this movie this trailer, is kind of crazy. It looks, Does it look good? The trailer we saw looked good. It looked very good. It looks like Has it's... Has anybody seen the Green Room trailer? Problem anybody? is, Bueller? this movie's no? not going to have any light at all throughout it. The oh, beginning, so it's like Batman versus Superman. No, this is actually darker than Batman v Superman. That's impossible. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Darker? Yeah. You, <laughs> pitch well, black is as darker. In, like, you're tr- trying to go darker than pitch black. But, <laughs> Teasing, they so. tried. Someone called Vin Diesel. It, but it's a very, it's a very good-looking move. It's, it's a good-looking trailer. I don't know if I'll like the well, movie it's, just because it's probably not going to be my type of movie. Right, not your type of but movie. you will like it. I don't know about Chris, but I know you probably like, like it. It's Patrick Stewart, and there's a uh, Scott Pilgrim tie-in because Mark Webber is one of the guys in the band. And Dunn, he plays Stephen Stills, the, the talent. <laughs> Dunn, Stephen fan, Stills. Fantastic. They lock Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young in a room. And exactly. they're going to kill him. Uh, but they, no, well, they no. don't lock Young because it, Young would actually In Scott Pilgrim trouble. takes the world, or versus the world, the lead singer of, the, of Sex Bob-omb, his name is Stephen Stills, and he's the talent. That's... The, the good, the funny part about it. So I had another place I was going. Yes, you did. But did you watch Scott Pilgrim? No. Oh, that's the dude, that, that is totally your movie too. You should. You would like it. It is, man. It's like the best video game movie ever. 
It's okay. fantastic. It, and it's not, it's, it, it's in a style of a video game. It's not a video game. Right. Which is right. the best part about it. So, this week it came out that Joel McHale is playing Chevy Chase. I, first of all, I didn't know any of this was happening. There is a biopic coming out about National Lampoon. It's called Drunk, Stoned, Brilliant, Dead, the story of the National Lampoon. So who's going to play Belushi? They, they, I think they named, I don't know who Horatio they named. Horatio Sands? No, I'm teasing. So I don't know who they named, but Joel McHale is playing Chevy Chase. That's pretty good. For, for that age, I think that's pretty good. Um, the thing that I like, though, is I didn't know this was happening. I know some of that history, though. Like, to me, that early National Lampoon stuff, when you had, what is it, Doug Kenny and uh, Mike, uh, I can't think of his last name, those guys were the guys that were like the seeds there. Sure. And, and then from there, they hired like Belushi. He did like voiceover stuff as a narrator for their albums. Right. Bill Murray did some stuff for him. Like, well, because they're from early, here, right? They're, are, are they Chicago guys? I don't know if they're Chicago guys. Are they, they I think second they're New City York guys? guys. Are they, they Second City well, guys? Those, or no, those guys are not Second City guys. Okay. But like Doug Kenny was this amazing writer who was crazy. And right. he ended up dying by falling into a volcano. Um, but what was they Meg did, Ryan in that movie? I'm sorry. Well, what they did, spoiler, he falls into a volcano and dies. But it's it's an insane story. And it's just like the story of Atari. I'm waiting like like Atari has the, the roots of Atari is this insane story. Uh-huh. Where you go, how did how how is this how did this produce anything? Because it was a lot of drugs and hot tubs and like craziness, and at the same time they were producing video games faster than anybody ever, and they were the first ones to do it. And that's how this is. It's like they were writing this insane stuff, and it's actual the roots of comedy that are affecting everything now. Right. And they were just these like out of control kids. It's really cool. So I think this is going to be great, and I think that it'll shine an interesting light on Chevy Chase because he kind of gets a bad rap. I think he's got kind of a weird personality, kind of irritating and, you know, whatever. But I think that seeing this movie might give you a different perspective on that. Because he was like a, a doctor student or something. He wasn't going into it to do comedy. Right. Well, he, he's a smart guy. He just has... You know, he has a personality issue. Yeah, I'm familiar yeah, just like, that one, too. Well, well, just like, you know, just like a lot of those guys, it's his way or the, hi- you know, his way or the highway. Right. And either he's really, really funny or awful. There's right. no, like, eh. Like, you know, Bill right. Murray, sometimes he's eh, sometimes he's Bill great. Bill Murray? Well, I'm just saying, like, he's, he, he doesn't get, I don't think he gets bad. I think he gets okay or great. Right, right. Chevy Chase is great or, or oh, my Fletch gosh. Fletch lives. Yes. Let's just say I mean, Fletch lives. Because Fletch is oh, a I'm great. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in a public space. It's like saying fire. Not Fletch is an to. unbelievable movie, the first one. Fletch is amazing. Fletch and that's like, eh. Is garbage. Right. I just watched it the other day. I should have talked about that on Real Idiots because only an idiot would watch that. That was terrible. It was hot garbage. For oh sure. my gosh. When he goes to the plantation. Oh yeah. my gosh. Garbage. That, he went to the well too many times in that movie. It was, it was a repeat of, and then not Man. in a good way. All right. We're at the halfway point. We're going to, we're going to, Drop the bomb. About the elephant in the room on this one. Um, that you mean Batman versus Superman dropped eighty five percent in ticket sales in a week. No, not that bomb. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Ooh, that boy, was. Yeah, that was, e, e, that's rough. E, uh, no, e. the trailer for Rogue One came out. Rogue One is the new Star Wars movie coming out in December. I did not know it was coming out, so I woke up and saw a Rogue One trailer. I went, what? what? How? I just wasn't on do you, the, do you watch Twitter or Facebook? I mean, it was everywhere. I don't remember what day it was. We were busy with something. I just completely missed it. And when I saw it on my phone, I was like, oh. Oh, my oh, God. Oh. Did you like it? Well, no. first I, of all, I never saw Star Wars. I, I enjoyed it, but it, I, I enjoyed it. I did not think it was like, amazing, this is awesome. I, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't What think are it was you the talking about? Ever. What's wrong okay. with you? Did oh, you, my God. Did you think it was hot garbage? No, it was fantastic. It was fantastic. (laughs) What are you talking about? Edward, what is wrong with you? Forrest Whitaker is unbelievable. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Blank and Whitaker. How about, how about, (laughs) how about 
AT-AT walkers oh, like, yeah. in a jungle shooting away as they're running. It's like right. everything like your, your Star Wars fantasy mind dreams up <laughs> was like happening. This and is like Battlefront, except you're, you're yes. watching the video of the movie of it. Here's the other thing. So there's been a lot of backlash. This is part of the geek news. There's been a lot of backlash. People saying yes. they don't like that it's a female lead. First of all, if you don't like it's a female lead, shut up and go away. I'm turn, putting turn, my foot down right now. I'm going to say this. Now. Turn us off, please. That's stupid. It's, yeah, don't please. listen to this because yes. we've got a female lead on this show. <laughs> um, <And> it's not <laughs> your... <laughs> but, but I think that's just <laughs> stupid. And, and a little. Is, it's a little. Yeah, it's a little. Sorry. The thing is... Watching this, did you, I, did that thought even cross your mind? No. But what crossed my mind is, wow, she's wearing an imperial outfit. Right. What the hell is happening in this movie? Sure. But here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. People are saying, well, you know, they didn't reveal Ray was the female lead until after the movie was out, and they were trying to keep that under wraps. They weren't doing that because it was a female. They're doing that to add suspense. Okay, that had nothing to do with gender. Well, in this, when she's in the second scene, you think she's the lead. It's not like they're going to put right as soon as the movie starts. You know. Yeah. But here's the other thing. We don't know that that's the lead. We don't. Everybody's writing, but that we that's do. The lead, but we do. Like, but we do lead. know it's the lead. But no, we, don't. we don't. She could be. There could be multiple leads. Her storyline could be the first one that was revealed to us. It could be. It's called Rogue One. We might be like, oh, well, no, but it's about the Rogue. But, but Rogue, it's about Rogue Squadron. Yeah. So, right. So who's to say we don't get another trailer where it's completely about somebody different? Because Poe Dameron's parents are supposed to be featured in this movie. How do we know the parents aren't the lead of this movie? And her character story arc is, is one of the branches. And there's another branch Maybe. here. Maybe. So, so wait, the fact when, that people get up in arms, it's like, first of all, use but, some critical thinking. We don't know. When, but, wait, when did the Rogue Squadron start? Did it's they, right before four. It's yeah. the it's the it's so the it's, movie right so, before New Hope. So they. So it's just after this one, right? No, it's, no, 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 no. It's it's three point nine. It's not. It's or yeah, it's three point nine nine. The first one that came out, Star Wars: A New Hope. Yep. The New Hope, yes. It starts out with them. Hope. Spoiler in a ship. With the stolen Death Star plans. The movie Rogue One is about them stealing the Death Star plans. What I would like is if she was the start of Rogue One, she gets some people together to help her go and steal she might. the plans. She might be. I would no, like she's that. She's assigned to do it. They show that in the yeah. well, No, she, she is going to go get who's the plans. A, anybody a Star Wars geek out here? Because I don't know. A Bothan, are they the furry dudes? Or are they just a race of people? But they're like the small furry dudes, like with white fur in the front. Not they're not Ewoks, but they're like normal human size. Like Bela Forsk is a Bothan, or not? Okay, don't worry about it. I just didn't know. Well, I'm just I'm just trying to look back because, so, not a spoiler because it's in the trail trailer. She ends up talking to Mon Mothma, who is oh my god, which is which is fantastic. It's so fantastic. So Mon Mothma, they recast obviously because the woman who played Mon Mothma is like. Old now, yes. No offense, but looks exactly like her. Or it really looks good, exactly like her. And do they have like a white? Yeah, they, they were, have white fur in their in the front. Yeah, he was. It was like a werewolf. He he, he was. There was actually a toy for it. Uh, he was in the cantina scene because because yes. because spoiler in new not in New Hope in um, uh, Revenge. No, not Revenge. What's what's six? I can't think of the title off the top of my head. Six. Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. When they actually do the attack on the Second no, Death Star. What, no, in, it's in New Hope when Mon Mothma talks about him and says many Bothans died to get these plans. Where where are the Bothans coming in? Because they're going to oh, stick, stick right. true to that. Wait. So do you think she's going to get the plans? She's going to crash land on the Force planet. Well, they don't know. That's we why don't. I said I don't know if she's the lead. Right. She. I, I think she's going to be the lead, and she's. Going to help well, with the start of Rogue. She may have the end because the she's Rogue an Squadron. Imperial, so she knows the way Imperial things work, like but how what Han if, Solo what we, does. What, we, what if we see the evolution of somebody who becomes part of the Imperial thing? What if she turns out to be uh, Captain Phasma? No, she's too, too, no, she's too young for that. No, she isn't. Yeah, she is, because that's 30 years after. She's too young to be Captain Phasma. Captain Phasma's 20s, 30s. You sure? Quindlin, she's not that. All right. I, I mean, I don't think any of those people are. What if they age different? 
it, she's a human <laughs> being. Yeah, exactly. Okay, what a, no, I, I mean, win. I, I, I think there's like some precedent, like what you're talking about is like a different storyline, but it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think they've done a good job of hiding things, and I think this might have been a red herring. At the same time, <laughs> I think it's a great story. And, and the, the fact that anybody even questioned it means, once again, shut up. Because who sure. cares? It's not like, okay, when, when all the controversy was about the Ghostbusters, and they're like, oh, it's all female, and you know, people complaining about that. It's like, you know what? You're off the mark. Don't complain about right. that. Complain about whether it's a good story or not. Complain that it sucks it, because it does. Good, it looks bad. No one's going to care. Mm-hmm. You know what? You want to break down barriers? Just make good product. Sure. And, and there's, uh, to me, I didn't even think about it. I don't even think about it with the Ghostbusters. No. I just want that to be good. You know? Who cares? Edward I, cares. I can tell. I, no, I, I, don't. I, I, I really don't. So we, you're we, not excited. We, need, you to, we need to be past this. So I, we have Edward's rolling sausage party So who is Forrest Whitaker? Star Wars? Because that, he was awesome in that. Who? Forrest Whitaker. I know. I was just like, he starts talking, and you're like, oh, it's Forrest Whitaker. Well, and then he's like so intense. He is. That's well, is he is. supposed to be like the the Jedi Force sensitive? I don't influence? know if he's a Jedi though. I think he might just be like a trainer. And then the other guy, and I can't think of his name, that you see fighting with the staff. I'm like, this is yeah. fantastic. Because by that point, lightsabers would not have been as commonplace. Well, so we're not going to have any. Lot, we shouldn't see a lot of lightsaber action. There's no Jedi. There's no. There's right. no Sith. I mean, there's only two. So right. they would they would be the only there's, ones that have lightsaber. The only one that'll have it is Vader. And there's the well, other and the thing. Emperor. So there's the other Palpatine. thing though. There's the other thing that we did not have revealed to us, and why I say this is not the main story. The big rumor is Darth Vader is a major character in this movie. Nice. Like big screen time. So we didn't see anything with Vader. We didn't see anything about that. So who's it going to be? Is it going to be Hayden Christensen just with the, the mask on, or who's it going to be? I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it, too, but... Vin Diesel. He does that. Uh, It'll be a... I am Vader. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be James Earl Jones. Like, oh. like wow, what... Vader, you, did you get your thyroid stung by a bee before you became the young Vader in four? What happened there? Well, Vader in four is a big dude. I mean, in comparison Not to everybody big. else. Have you seen James Earl Jones? Well, no, but David Prowse is huge. He's huge. Yeah. He's, he, I mean, in comparison to Hollywood people, yeah. he's not. He's not um, Chewy. He's not that Chewy. big. Well, he's not Mar- He's not May- Peter Mayhew. Now we won't size. see Chewy in this. Oh, Rob's sad, but that's okay. I'm excited for this. I, I, I'm telling you, this trailer hit, and it's all I've thought about for two days. So. Well, I knew it was coming. I had to come. I had a big, busy day here at, at, at I can't Blue Box. believe I didn't know. I was nuts. We have a Twitter. Somebody needs to tweet that out when we have that stuff. Then I'd know. What is this Twitter you talk about? <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Uh, you're, you're dying here, Edward. Go ahead. It's not really dying. Um, I'm not. Let, let's say the ABC is making a uh, young yes. adult cloak and dagger yes, a YA TV version. show. Well, it's on a YA channel. We Correct. don't, we don't know yeah. what this will be, but they're doing Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger for ABC, man. Now I do a Marvel podcast, and I didn't know for sure. We've talked about it. We've mm-hmm. talked about how the rumors, and I think if you if you go back and listen, we've talked about the Netflix possibilities. We've been beating the drum that they should do Cloak and Dagger as one of the Netflix series. Sure. Well, they're not. They're doing it as ABC. It's, well, but have you ever heard of this channel? It's, it's got to it be on? their family channel, and they just call it Young Adult. I mean, they no, no, no. It's it's uh, ABC owns a channel. It's called uh, Tree something Freeform. It's called the, Freeform, and it's like their YA channel. I haven't heard of this, but they change that stuff all the time. I mean, when they say YA for this, it could very well be like the Flash is on the WB because the right. WB is kind of a teen tween. Sure. That it's twelve. To, it's twelve to twenty. That's their. It's so obvious that's their Dagger number. Fits that perfectly. I I think Cloak and Dagger is an awesome series. So it'll be. And, and I think I, we, I enjoy it. I hope they start. I hope they start from the origin story and like go through what they're oh, doing. Oh, they have to. Yeah. Right. They have to do the origin story. They have this. to set that because nobody will know what it is. A lot of times, I don't think they really need to do that. You can always get it through flashback. But Cloak and Dagger doesn't work if it doesn't start Correct. from origin. Right. 
they could even go a couple episodes before they turn into Cloak and Dagger and show them yeah. their relationship growing, show all that stuff, get all the feels going, and right. then Bang, boom, do it. they're Cloak and Dagger, and it's like, whoa, well, and what happened? So do- I, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do this like... The, I hope they don't make this trying to be like The Flash. Because what do you mean? They, they're having it. They get the powers and they immediately try to help, try to be good and try to save the world. I hope they have Work the powers, they figure out how to deal with them, and then they slowly move into like. So they, they this Wolverine happened. it where it, take, it takes about 50 years yes. to become good? I would imagine being a Marvel property um, that they will, since it is a series. They will take their time with that some. Good. I think they'll do a lot of relationship building and that kind of stuff. I think that's what we'll see. The, the Flash I'm is excited, a, though. I love the Cloak right. and Dagger books. So. Flash is a tough one because Flash, you have high expectations, and they needed to make it work. Now they have a little bit. Plus, well, it's, on, it's, on a, it's on an off channel. Think it's about, not mainstream, so they can Think about they can Flash, the, the Flash comics even. The whole thing is based on the meta humans. You've got yeah. to throw them into the mix right. and make it go. And they did a good job with that. Right. And, and start getting crazy. I mean, by first season, you've already seen Grodd. Now you've got King Shark. You've got all these. They're, right. like, throwing them in fast and furious. Multiverses happen. He crossed over a Supergirl last week on, on a yeah. different channel. You know what they need to do is have him go zipping through other shows. Ha- have, like, Supergirl happening, and you just see him in the background at one time. Like, you know that he's, like, tripping through sure. the multiverse. That would be awesome. We could do it anywhere because he can go anywhere. He doesn't any- even have to stop. Just show yeah. that. Yep, like, just show the, yeah, the, the thing going. Fantastic. That would be good. Well, you know what? We've talked about how Disney is going to expand and do all of these Marvel yeah. things on all their channels. I mean, why wouldn't you support one of your, you know, those sub-channels, whatever they're called, whatever classification those, you know, the, the ABC family and all that stuff with shows like this because you've got the property right. and you can tie it all in and you can have everybody You know what? You just hit on something. So, so Freeform is their YA channel that they're going right. for. It's, it's Disney's version of the WB, right? Mm-hmm. But they do have ABC Family. That's where you do a Squirrel Girl show. <laughs> you do a Squirrel you go, Girl dude, show. Dude, you go you so deep. Friendly. You go so deep on these... And I'm telling you, Squirrel Girl is a great book. Right. And if you did it there, you could have it be part of the MCU, but you could do it as a family show, put the same effort into it that you have the other things. Sure. You've created another pocket in the universe that is viable. I mean, I, well, they, I'm all about it. And, and they could bring people in that aren't going to be. And you know, that's how we get to the Micronauts, which is what I'm waiting for. On the, on the abstract channel? On the, and then they need to make a deal with Shudder. And they can do uh, they can do uh, Tomb of Dracula, which I Dude. love. And uh, they're, they're Godzilla, having, they're having they're having hard enough trouble getting all this. All no, this no, stuff. let's do it all. They don't. You know what? I always say they should put me in charge. They shouldn't because I would cost them everything. I would bankrupt Disney in a heartbeat because I'd be like, everything is greenlit. Well, you, yeah, everything is greenlit. <laughs> Dude, that could be you could be the new Marvel guy, the green lighter. That could be the your, green lighter. <laughs> that would be. Excelsior. Instead of the green I lantern, green it's the green lighter. You just press buttons, go. I did a Stan Lee impression there. You catch that? <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on. So, I would it's, the Edward, that, it's this week in Edward Lee. I surprisingly enjoyed. It's, it's not Edward's Magic Corner. It's this week no, in Edward. It's, it's Bye Bye Man. The, it's a trailer for Bye Bye Man. Bye Bye Man? What's this? Have you seen it? No. It is a tr- it's a horror movie trailer. It's about... Everything that goes wrong in the world, like suicides and like school shootings, that's all caused by pretty much this one spirit. Okay. And he does all these things. The only way that he can do stuff is if you believe in him. Okay. Yo, if, I think we talked about this a few weeks ago, didn't we? No, we talked about the, no. Death Note. We talked yeah. about Oh, it was Death Note. Slender sorry. Man. Yeah. Slender. Which, no, we did not. Ironically, we did not. no, we're not. No. Slender. <laughs> It's the and it's it's kind of like the cli- it's kind of the cliche of the more man? you're afraid of him, the bigger he grows. So it's kind of like the horror version of Santa Claus. No, that's a uh, Grumpus. Grumpus. Krampus. Yes. Yeah. And you know our favorite person's in it, Doug. Doug Jones is in it. Is he? Yes. In Bye Bye Man. Yep. And Douglas Smith. He's a kid from. Uh, all right. This is this is a great cast. It's, it's, yeah, Doug it's Jones. Is in so Doug I'm Jones, in. Douglas Smith, who was the oldest son in uh, Big Love, Michael Truco, who was in Battlestar Galactica. 
Cressida bonus, who's I think you, if you saw her, you would know. Okay. It looks good. All right. Awesome, man. And did you think it looked good? I did. I did think it looked good. All right. I, it, you don't usually like horror movies, so it looked like it might be good, though. I did. It was, All right. It, it seems like a horror movie. It's not this? Bye Bye Man? It's not light. What's that Lights Out thing? What was that one we talked oh, about? Lights Out. That was so good. Oh, oh, oh. I never didn't like it. <laughs> no. Kathleen, That's did you see Lights scary. Out? Hey, Kathleen, did you see Light? Kathleen, my wife, Kathleen. No, she's just like my wife. Neither one hears us. Our voices did, are at a different did level. Did you see Lights? You saw Lights Out, right? The trailer with the lights were the, yeah. Yeah, Weekend at Bernie's, so we're talking we, about. That's right. <laughs> bye Bye Bernie, yes. Oh. Which, which Bye Bye Bernie? Doug Jones and Bye Bye Bernie. That would be a good show. Which I'm, one, Lights Out? Yeah. Yes. I'm yes. going, and I'm going to regret it every second. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, we should see that one in the theater. Oh. Ooh. Five dollar. Oh, yeah. Five dollar, no how. Five dollar movie. Hey, can we have an Edward's Rolling Sausage Party? Yes. We should do that every week. You guys can all join us for Edward's Rolling Sausage Party. We'll tweet it out when we're going to things. Edward can't go. Um, Edward, right. won't, Edward will not go. I watched a trailer that I want to uh, highlight here. We don't have a lot of time. I want to highlight this one. I sent it to you. I sent oh, it to you. Oh, gosh. There was a trailer that somebody shared on Facebook today, and I shared it immediately. I think I put it on, I tweeted it out from This Week in Geek also. Yes, it's you It's a Russian movie called Guardians, and it's like a Russian superhero movie, but holy cow, does this look fantastic. A guy turns into a bear. Like, you see him from the back. It looks like Dave Bautista, and also like, hair. It looks like me. Hair coming out. Oh, yeah, gross. Um, moles, skin tags, hair. Uh. No, but he turns into a bear. The one guy but has two bear, blades. The bear can't eat anything because he has to be gluten free. So how does he? <laughs> That's eat? right. What hap- the, Just the honey. Blades, what happens? The blades. Oh my! Oh. my gosh! There's two. There's a trailer for it, and then there's also like a short like thing. Watch it. It's called Guardians. It's a Russian film. All I can say is, how long before we get this here? Hulu brings all that foreign stuff. Bring it. Right. Bring it now. We could ask Uncle Lil for a little uh, After help. you watch... You know what? See this instead of Batman Superman. That's what I'll say. This is right. This is awesome. I don't Dude. know if the story's good, but no, my it gosh, could be, the visuals It could be amazing. a pile. It could be a big hot garbage. It could so. be a big pile of garbage, but I don't think so. Well, after watching two things, I think I'm way yeah. in. Did you, did you watch I, it? No, I did not. Dude. Oh, Edward. You need to get on social media. I do. You're such an old man. Um, <laughs> what are you, 90? Galaxy yeah. Quest. It was finally came out. They were supposed to do a TV series of it. They're not doing a TV series of it. it when Alan Rickman died, I guess everything stalled and stalled yeah. to the point that it's just in permanent stall. So it doesn't mean it's dead. It just Because Tim Allen's so busy. Yeah, no, well, I, I don't think he was going to be on No, it. he wasn't. I know. Uh, but Alan Rickman was supposedly involved. But, That's yep, a shame. Done. Um, I mean, you know what? I, I think it's a great movie. I don't know what kind of series legs it would have. But it because, was the same people involved. Right, I know. But I think it could be good. There's, could already, be. there's already gags about that. So, I mean, there was the movie. True. There's other stuff. True. They made 7,000 Star Treks. And okay. I got another one. I'm going to interrupt you. On, I got one more. And then you can go. Did you see... Okay, so Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg are making The Preacher. That's coming out in May. I am oh, beside myself. Oh, my gosh. Are you talking about the... They picked up another property. Cinemax has greenlit them doing The Boys. The Boys is another Garth Ennis book like Preacher. Yeah. It's kind of like a brutal world of... I, I don't want to say it's like Walking Dead, but... It's not. It's not a zombie book, but it's that type of brutality only ramped up. Like, this could be a crazy, violent... It's a great book, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of it. I don't know if... Anyone else know what The Boys is? You know The Boys? No. No? Boys from Brazil. Remember that movie? It has nothing to do with this. Um, So... Yeah, is it, and then blue eyes. On. That's right. One blue this way, and one blue is that way. Is the boys of Brazil like Remember with uh, um, was George Goebbels in that? No, George I'm Goebbels, <laughs> Harper Valley PTA. That's right. Uh, yeah, man, they're doing the boys for Cinemax. This is another one. When I said 
the preacher is going to own us at some point. We're all going to be watching it and going, this is amazing. I'm telling you, the boys is another one. Once that hits, we're all going to go, what is this? Dude, they show the same like trailer for a preacher, and every time oh. I'm just like, You're sucked this, in, is gonna, aren't you? this is going to be so great. Yeah, it's going to be incredible. The boys is going to be great, too. Go ahead, because, Edward. So this is – I. I surprisingly like this and disliked one of the characters, the big friendly giant. Who did you dislike? <laughs> the giant. The little girl. Why? You. I, I, I enjoy that they made that they made a giant that's not clumsy and dim-witted. He's very, he's very stealthy, and I, I like that. And I like the feel of the movie. I just don't like the little girl. Have you that, read the book? No, I never read books. Not so stealthy. Not exactly, not dim-witted either. Yeah. But he's lovable and awesome. He's the big, friendly giant. I know you thought it was something Are you saying else. it's that Rob Southgate? Yeah. <laughs> it's the big furry giant. The big, grumpy giant. Big, That's me. <laughs> grumpy giant. Um, yeah. Did anybody see the trailer? I know Martha didn't. What? The trailer for BFG came out. Oh, I can't wait. The trailer looked really good. Um, you know, here's the other thing that's nice about it. I'm watching the trailer... I know the book. I didn't feel like this is the beginning of another series of movies. I felt like it's a standalone. They put everything into it. It looks really good. I don't think we're going to have BFG 2, BFG 3. I think this is one of those, like, they're, they're setting it up. Like, this could be a real special movie. Yes, big friendly giant. You watch what you think that second word is, because that is not what it is. That's not good. The Red Band trailer has a different word in it. Anyway, talking about Red Band, Red Band trailers, did you see the Red Band trailer for Neighbors 2? I did not like Neighbors. I thought, not, not the John Belushi one, the one with uh, Seth Rogen. Seth I didn't Rogen think it was and, funny. Uh, I was yeah. like, eh. And what's Neighbors the Neighbors 2. Name? So we've talked about this before. The trailers have all looked like, eh. The Red Band trailer is funny. Is it Pineapple Express good? <laughs> no, there's nothing better than that. Um, no, it's that's another Edward can't see. Yeah, that movie. Edward, no, it's it's. I'm telling you, it was funny. Am I going to see it? Probably not. It, it, it. I really didn't like the first one, and I really don't feel like going back to that well. But I do have to say, this second trailer. Did you watch it? Yes. Oh, Edward. Edward. It's a half an Edward. R. It's a, it's, a, it's a lowercase R. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. R. It's a Even so, this trailer. So what a, the favorite scene of that movie is the clown scene. The clown. <laughs> it was awesome. Yeah, a clown is funny. Uh, um, yeah, I think it looks, it looks funny. It could but be okay. I, just, I don't really have As long as it's Seth it. Rogen being him and not being the, not Seth Rogen being... J- not, you know, not trying to being a not trying to be a Belushi or trying to be yeah. a Bill Murray. It's him being him. When he, I don't want to say his elevated stuff because it's not, but like when he actually does some acting and isn't playing the character of Seth Rogen, right. he's a lot better. Uh, Super bad, very funny movie. He was good in it. Uh, what's the one? What's the one? Oh, Martha's not in the room. The one uh, knocked up. Oh yeah, he was. Love him in that. He was good in Zach and Mira. He was. He was good in that. He was good in the end what? of the, the last, what was the, the Christmas one? I thought he was pretty good. See, I didn't see that one yet. It was pretty, it wasn't but bad. When, but Neighbors was the, was the one where when we watched it, it made me not want to see him in anything. Right. Because he was being a caricature of himself. Well, end of the world. What's that end of the world? I like that one. Yeah, though. but he wasn't. He wasn't great. He wasn't Everybody great else in was that. Good. He was good in it, but Sarah no, it was Michael. Sarah was fantastic. <laughs> Michael, Sarah, and uh, Danny McBride. <laughs> Danny McBride owned that movie for me when he's cooking all their food. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, oh, we finished a whole. Oh no, Netflix. Speaking of Death Note, Netflix picked it up. Okay. So it was going to be released. I think Warner Brothers was the one toying yeah. with it. It's a live-action version of it. It looks really cool. It they, does. They dropped it, and Netflix picked up and said, "Sure, what the heck, you know what? I can't wait to watch it. I that'll, think it looks cool. That'll be fantastic. That that looks really good. Um, did did the guy who played Admiral Akbar? That was this week, right? So in celebrity yeah. note, the only one that I, I really kind of hit me, and especially with the geek, is the gentleman who voiced Admiral Akbar passed away, but he was like ninety four. 
or something like that. 93 he was. Yeah, Eric, he had a good life, so. Eric Bowersfeld, uh, he was 93. He's a voice actor. He was the voice of Admiral Akbar, so he did the one that everybody quotes. Like, it's, it's a trap. A, it's a trap. But he also was the voice of Bib Fortuna, which is uh, Jabba the Hutt's partner, the guy that has the, the head. He, the, he was him. That's a, he was played, he, did he actually play no, him? No, he played I him. If you, look at his, if you look at his picture, you see that it's him. That is a creepy character. Yeah. That is a weird thing going on there. He was really good. And, and, I mean, 93, that's, that's quite a life. So yeah. it's, it's a shame to have somebody like that go. He was actually in Episode 7. He played one of the like generals or something. Mm-hmm. So it's nice that they kept him in the universe. They kept doing sure. things with the guy. And it's just, it's just a shame he's gone. Yes, it is, but... So, uh, what else? Did we get everything? Oh, here's something I didn't know. I've only got two things left. Oh, no, I've got one terrible. Um, did you know... Okay, there's the, the Jungle Book movie that looks fantastic coming out. John Favreau made it. Did you know there's another Jungle Book movie? No. Live action? Or... Yeah. No. It got, it got bumped further back. They moved... I forget what movie. Wonder Woman, they moved up three months. Yeah. So it's Warner Brothers. And they pushed back another Jungle Book movie. But it's not Disney. It's Warner Brothers. It's called Jungle Book Origins. We know that those Origins movies always work out well for them. Um, but it's Andy Serkis making it. That could be good. So I, I like Andy Serkis. But I... But is, he ma- is he executive producing it? or is he? But why are they it? doing... What, what is Jungle Book Origins? Mowgli's a little kid. You see the origin story. Is it's, it before that? Oh, no, no, it is. It's Shakira gonna be before was that. born. It, it's going to be why, she, uh, yeah, Shakira, why he was so feared. It's going to be probably a movie about him. Okay. I'm going to just mark it right here. I don't care. Uh, I'm right. just going to say it just seemed weird to me. I didn't know about this at all. I, I didn't either. It, well, but it's, it could be good. If it's him, it. He's a talented dude. He's amazing. He is. I, I just... I when you think know. of the iconic characters he, he's played just because. Here's, the, here's a ba- the bad news. We'll get that one out of the way. Warner Brothers is <laughs> circling making a Speedy Gonzalez movie. What the serious hell are they thinking? <laughs> Maybe they don't know what the premise is with this character. Like, what he is... That's not gonna fly. And if it if they try to like, well, we'll we'll fix him so he's not you know a stereotype of Hispanic people. Um, first of all, that's what he is. Yes. <laughs> so if they if they fix uh. that, it's no longer Speedy Gonzalez. Why? Why? Are they gonna do? Let's just put them all. Let's ridiculous. just do them all and just get it on the. Let's piss everybody off in one shot, and then we could be I all mean, set. That is. Unbelievable. Because they me. could do Ricochet Rabbit. They could do the whole, all of them. It could be my Saturday morning. It could be that. Right. Is, that's Hannah, right? Hannah Barbera? That yeah. Ricochet it is Rabbit? Hannah no, no. Speedy Gonzalez is Warner Brothers. So that what they're trying to do, this is what they didn't talk about. But it's Hannah, isn't it? Who's they the, actually. They're doing the movie, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's in the Hannah yeah, Barbera it is Hannah character. Barbera character. Yeah. What is? Speedy Gonzalez. Rick, Speedy Gonzalez, all no. those characters. No, he is a Warner Brothers character. 100%. Hundred percent. Okay. Um, he was part of the Chuck Jones. He, Chuck Jones sure. and okay. Warner Brothers. Um, here's what they didn't talk about. Here's something that's kind of gone silent. I think it's Jenny Slade, that comedian actress, is supposedly relaunching like a Looney Tunes movie. They've put her as the one writing it and relaunching it. So they did Space Jam. And I think they did a Space Jam too, or they were suppo- that was in development. They were going to call it Toe Jam and do soccer players, <laughs> right. but it didn't work. Ugh, Beckham gross. didn't did, Beckham um, didn't want to do it. So and and uh, but they were talking about doing like a like Looney Tunes movie with her kind of as the lead, and she was writing it. And in that, that has kind of gone silent because it probably is terrible. Um, even though I like her, why why do this? They picked, of all the characters, let's do a standalone Speedy Gonzalez movie. I mean... They, they, can't, they can't make the right decision to, no. to save the... I mean, and then, you know, with all this <laughs> Batman, Batman v Superman... You know what? They should do one about Clarence. Remember the, the, the special needs lion that they had that they took? They had a special needs lion in, like, one of the shorts, and they pulled it. You can't get that right. anymore. And he was a great character, right. but it's like, wow, that's... 
That's a special needs lion. That's like not really funny. No. <laughs> you know? They're just But that's like one one degree away from this. Right. Well that's you know. I mean, Bad decisions. Bad decisions. Well, you know, when you pull from, when you pull from that list, it's it's mostly racially insensitive. Yeah, I mean, because well, they yeah, put it's got, 60s. You've it's got Daffy Duck. You've got Porky Pig. You've got Bugs Bunny. You you could do anything with any of these guys. You could do well. It, they were saying that even like Yosemite Sam or Yo, Pepe he, Le Pew. Like Pepe Le Pew. When you think about Pepe Le Pew, you can't make a movie about that. Oh no. He's like he's like. Yes. Well, all of them. He's like a sexual predator. But but all of them. But all of them have that. Come in. We set you up, Penny Pepe Le Pew. Well, but every single one of them, they they have a cat in the room, you know. They did the. It was the typical '60s and '70s. They took that flaw and beat it to death. Sure. For everybody. Right. Look at look at Roadrunner and Wiley Coyote. Yeah. Yeah. But not in that idiot. Yeah, but this was like. I mean, this is. (laughs) Oh, I I agree. This is unbelievable. I, I agree. All right. Last thing I have. And we're done. Did you see the trailer, the new trailer for Independence Day Resurgence? No. Anybody see this? Which which one is it? I can't remember. I've seen a bunch the of The one them. where we now see the president behind yeah. the glass. Pull, and he gets yeah. the thing on his neck. And he gets smashed against the glass just like Data. And he goes, just she like- has arrived. I'm getting less interested as we get closer. What, why? And did you see Data was in it? Yeah. And he's got, like, just a thing on his neck. He died in the last one! He was choked and, like, broken neck. You know what? You can fix a broken neck with a little scarf, apparently. Does Tom Baker have a broken neck? Is that why he wears the scarf through the whole thing? It's ridiculous. (laughs) I'm saying it's ridiculous, but you know I'm going to see this Where's Judd Hirsch? And you know I'm going to buy the stupid Blu-ray, and you know I'm going to buy the stupid toys. Because, Stupid. You're going to buy the Jeff Goldblum apartment.com? I would buy the Jeff Goldblum. That one of the Harvey Firestein. <laughs> yes. call, my, call your mother. I have to call my mother. At $200 an hour, he better take my call. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's awful. I need to watch that again. It's awful. They should just make a super cut of Harvey Firestein. And John Hirsch. It's like... And John Hirsch is in it. Do you think he'll be in this one? I don't think so. I didn't see him. No, I only saw Jeff Goldblum and President Snow, and he got his face smashed. Yeah. Oh, he was. You're right. Was he? So he is in it. So it's just Will Smith that's was not. It, in it. <laughs> was it him and Christopher? Is Jaden Smith in it? Him or Christopher Lloyd? Thank God and uh, he's a star. I'm sorry. Oh, that would be Jaden <laughs> Smith resurgence. <laughs> is the that reason. it? Did we finish this? Yeah. Can, yes. can we please? Yeah. All right. I, that's what it feels like when you run out of gas, everybody. All right. Thank you for listening, everyone. That was this week in geek. Yay! Thank you, Blue Box. We'll be back next Saturday. 